zoom out a little. Um, I thought it was a great first step, and it's kind of showing that things are moving the way they should. And uh, there's a lot of work left to do, though, but I see it as a great first step. I, I don't see it too much as a big deal. Um, I see it more as just like uh, with racial tension and um, civil rights, it's just going to be a thing of the past shortly, so I don't even process it. Eventually, it's just going to be stupid. People are going to look back and like, that was really stupid. I was uh, I was very very happy to hear this news because it means uh, it means great strides and advances for our community as um, you know as the future comes. Granted, it's not legal to get married here in the state, the good state of Georgia yet. It's something that I'm very looking forward to, and I'm sure that many years down the road, a few years down the road, that that uh, will you know be facilitated here in our community. The arguments against gay marriage um, are hurt very much by the ending of DOMA. The more things change nationally and federally, you know, the more people's minds get changed here in Georgia. Just, you know, we're a little behind the ball. To someone that would disagree with me about gay marriage, I'd say you're entitled to your beliefs, but your beliefs should not dictate the law. I don't really have a problem with gay marriages. I guess if a person is born with that, that way, then you just have to accept him to move on. It's cool, yes, to each his own. I mean, I think everybody should be able to. Um, obviously, I think there's a lot of implications with, obviously, with uh, kind of like economic issues with the taxes and stuff like that, where I think some people have issues with that. Um, well, I mean, I think it should be legalized everywhere, so that's awesome, a step forward, I guess. Not legal. How are you going to marry someone if it's not in the Bible that a woman is for a woman and a man is for a man? That's not what it says. It says God made woman for man, not God made woman for woman and man for man. That was his creation, that's not ours. And we should respect his creation and not try to build something of our own, even though we cannot control. Uh, I think eventually it will. I do think it will be a while before that happens. But um, I definitely think that it, yeah, as it gets more and more followers going forward, that I do think that it will be something that's uh, countrywide, not just in certain states. I think that Georgia has a reputation of thinking quite differently than California. So, and I mean, especially South Georgia, just kind of when you're in the Bible Belt, pretty much. I think it's, uh, I, don't, I think they frown upon it here more so than any other place in the country. I've been pretty discouraged about it because I think it is like indicative of like where we're going as a country in terms of um, departing from the values of our founding fathers. And as a, as a Christian, it doesn't um, match up with my personal values, and so it concerns me greatly. I don't know. I think it's it's a really challenging thing because. As Christians, we're called to love everybody. You know, like I don't think that um, I don't think that somebody who's gay can't love Christ. Like I don't think that at all. Like I don't think they can't be a Christian. That's completely incorrect. You know. I have a lot of friends who are homosexuals, and I love them. But I do believe that marriage is supposed to be between a man and a woman. 